Welcome to Christy's Kitchen. I'm making dinner tonight and just wanted to share a great recipe with you and a couple of stories to go along with it. What I have here, this is sliced rump roast beef. And one thing about the rump roast, it's kind of a mouthful, that's one thing about it. Anyway, I don't really like to bake it because it doesn't have enough fat on it and so it always is dried out. Maybe I just don't know how to cook it correctly. But anyway, I've even had the other people's homes. I'm like, how come this roast is so dry? So what I do is I slice it very thinly. And you can see I've got it just stacked up here. And um, I love having this sliced up and I package it into smaller containers. It's just me and my husband. Or if we have company, we, you know, come on over and have some dinner. Uh, then I, I just have it in, I don't know, probably two cup amounts. So today I'm going to make this great recipe and it, there's a really good backstory to it. So I'll tell you that one I'm, I'm cooking here. But one thing I wanted to share about is always being prepared. Tonight I was thinking, what am I going to make for dinner? Now I already had the roast that I purchased. Sorry, I've got to slide my pan over. I already had these roasts that I had purchased and I needed to use them up before I got them in the freezer. So I knew I needed to do something with the roast. And just keep that in mind about being prepared. Well, it's good to have things in your freezer. And I'm a freezer person. I know some people only like fresh, but I freeze in the right containers. Um, I use the real deal Tupperware and it they're really airtight. I don't use the bags. The bags are messy. Anyway, let's go back to the story here. So what I'm doing is I've just taken some garlic. This is just minced garlic. I actually buy it in the jar. I do mince my own quite a bit. I used to, but I would go through it so fast. And this is really good. It's refrigerated and it's really fresh. So I've got some olive oil here. You saw the, you saw the, saw the ingredients. So I just put a little olive oil um, in the pan. In fact, I'm gonna put maybe just a little bit more. And I've got the um, garlic all getting cooked here. You see what I'm doing? I'm adding a little more oil. Maybe you can see that. All right, so I'm gonna get that hot, nice and hot. Now this came from one of my husband's friends. We were visiting them in California years and years ago, and they are from Italy, they're from Sicily, and my husband loves Italian food, so he was so excited they invited us for dinner, and I wasn't because I'm really picky, and I don't like cheese, and I just assumed that anything Italian's gonna have cheese, like pizza. So I always get pizza without cheese. And I just don't like, you know, having mozzarella or Parmesan cheese and meatballs. And I just, I, I'm allergic to, to um, cheese. Anyway, so I'm just gonna take these smaller uh, pieces here. So I go to our, we go to our friend's house and she's making this uh, dinner and it's just divine. And now it's become one of our favorite dinners and there's no cheese in it. So that's just a little backstory. There's a little more to it, but I'm not gonna tell you the whole thing. So I'm just going to do it kind of in layers here. This goes really quickly if you're not holding a camera and talking to people. And that's why I'm doing this tonight. And my husband's gonna love it. Oh my gosh, he is gonna love this. And it's so, so simple. And it's really, um, just really tasty. All right, so I'm going to do this. And what I like to do, is kind of a fatty piece. I, I did take the bigger pieces of fat off of this roast as I cut it up and what I'm going to do I'm not going to have you watch the entire thing but as I'm browning that a little bit um, you don't want to crowd the pan because you, you want it to um, actually have a good saute to it you don't want it to steam I'm going to sprinkle it with some Italian seasoning and I have just found that um, the dollar stores have great seasoning and they're of course pretty inexpensive and I think they're very fresh. I used to own a kitchen store so I know that you know I love the smell of fresh spices. There we go. There we go. So I'm just going to take this and just sprinkle it with a little bit of Italian seasoning. I just love the Italian seasoning because when you get um, a lot of different things, a little fennel in it. Let me look at it and I'll tell you what it comes in it. Well this is not fennel but hey there we go. It is too close to see. <laughs> there we go. Marjoram, uh, thyme, basil, which is close to the marjoram family. Rosemary, savory, and oregano. Hey, it saves trying to um, measure out each one of those, right? 
so it's going to sprinkle it here. After I, that's how simple it is everybody, after I brown it, now I may move these to another plate and then brown another batch and that I'm pretty sure that's what I'm going to do. Um, and then I'm just going to put the brown meat in here. I'm just going to add a can of diced tomatoes or tomatoes, um, a can of tomato sauce and then a little bit of chicken bouillon. Now my friend, Laura, who's the one that introduced me to this recipe, it's her recipe, um, she told me that Italians put bouillon in everything but their tea. So I, I love that kind of like taste bouillon. Um, I don't like the powder kind that's all sugar, so you've got to watch your labels. Then I'm going to just thicken it up with a little bit of tomato paste. Now tomato paste is one of those things that you don't always use the whole jar. So I just want to show you another little tip. I just take what's left over, put it in my little container, and I freeze it. So I just put this out of my freezer. Um, I just used it a couple weeks ago, but then I'm not throwing it out. You can tell I'm a, a white economical person. Anyway, don't tell me cheap. I'm just thinking the holiday. See how easy this is? And that's all you're going to do. That is going to be dinner. You cook it. You, if you want to do some pasta, that's great. Sometimes I do my um, zucchini that I make into spirals. And that's really good too, trying to cut down on the carbs. Now, I have to just put a little less into this because, you know, I love to be prepared because you never know who's going to show up. You know, maybe one of my kids would come and visit, which you know, they live in. I have one in every time, so. Um, or maybe one of you are going to call and say, hey, I'm going to come and have dinner. Look at that. Oh, plug the steam. Can you see that? The steam's up my pan. And now you can see it kind of get. Oh, that is like so perfect. And I turn it down just a little bit. Anyway, so you always want to be prepared, but you don't always know why. And you know, you need to do the same thing with your health. And I'm on this health kick because I am 61 and I feel like I haven't always prepared for, for being over 60. Um, so I always make sure, I'll tell you what my go-to is. My go-to is my big blue bottle that I drink every day. And if you don't know what's in my blue bottle, then you'll have to go to mybigbluebottle.com and I'll just divulge the secrets. But I drink this every day because I don't know what kind of um, situations my body is going to get in. So I want to be prepared and I also take the good nutritionals. You know, we think, oh, you know, I drink this, it doesn't make me feel any better. By the way, it's not a diet drink, it's not a shake, it's not... Um, you know, some exotic berry or something, It's you're gonna be so surprised when you find out what the ingredients are and what they do, oh my goodness. Anyway, so you need to have your body prepared for those kinds of things that are gonna come up. And you might not know what they are, and you know what? Just like somebody might not show up to dinner, where I need to pull this out of my freezer, but I know I'm always gonna have a couple meals in my freezer for me and my hubby. So make sure that you protect your body, you prepare, you prepare for those kinds of things. And I'm telling you, if you get into the flu season, Preparation is over if you haven't already built up your cells, and that's really what my big blue bottle does. So anyway, I'll post some pictures. This is what it looks like when it's all browned up, and I'll post some pictures of it all the way done. So thanks for joining Christy in Christy's Kitchen, and stay tuned for the next time I let you all visit here. Be healthy and stay that way.